he really held his own. Like you know, so proud of Bryson, man. He's he's worked so hard, um, and, and you know he's a great kid, and, and he just comes up there every day. And like Coach said, is once his snaps became more consistent and he settled down, um, you know he's got the strength and the quickness. And uh, we went to a little bit more of our outside run game, uh, so it's not quite as much power based, more quickness based. And, uh, and he did a really nice job. Like I said, the communication was really was really good. Uh, so, so really proud of him and the way that, that he played. You say that, and then that last drive to see like you went 21 personnel and went right at him yep. and ran down. That's got to be encouraging yep. for you. Well, I, I think, you know, I talked to him at halftime about, you know, just what we want to be, what we're trying to develop here. And it's about grinding people, about being physical, and just the whole standpoint of, of wearing people down of that blue collar mentality and just every time you come out there. And that's why I'm glad we got to finish a game like that because that's the mentality we want around here is we want to be a group that's going to come out and play hard every day and every snap. And uh, I think we developed a little bit of that today. In your wildest dreams, say Tuesday, Wednesday, did you ex have any way of see foreseeing this coming on Saturday? No, no, I would not say that I did that. I, you know, when I knew that we were going to be down uh, both starting guards, and, uh, you know, but I never flinched. You know, I never let them see. They, I, I, and we just came out there and worked, and, and you know, those guys never flinched. They were excited to play. You know, Gemitter, uh, you know, being a this time last year, he was a defensive tackle, you know, right. you know played every snap at the left guard spot and, and, you know, did a good job. And really, a lot of that is to, to, to Colton and, and uh, Wickline. Both of those guys, I talked to them all week about, hey, keep these guys calm in there, make sure you talk to them. You know, John Hughes played a ton as a, you know, he started as a, as a junior college guy that only played limited number of snaps. So I was really excited about the way the kids play and, and the effort that they gave, you know, because that's, that's what I'm looking for is you just go out there and be physical and play hard and we'll live with the result. Matt, what uh, sort of improvement did you see out of the quarterback this week? Seemed like he might have had a little bit more time to, to work back there. Yeah, he did. There were several times when we were slide protecting and he had a lot of time back there. You know, I know he, there, was, there was several balls that flew high on him that he wished he'd have had back. You know, they could have been some big plays. But I thought, you know, so many things we did with him with the run game RPO where he's having to make really quick reads where he would, would, would run the ball, but then he'd turn and throw it out there to the receiver. And, those, those aren't easy, you know, catching that snap and reading that guy and making those decisions. So I think a lot of the decisions he made were good. Were you doing a little more slide Sam stepping James in zone to try to help them out a little bit with the scheme? Well, to, we knew the uh, the personality of the defensive coordinator, or, or you yeah. know, of Gibby that was here, yeah. and how much he enjoyed blitzing. Right. And when you slide and gap protect, it's a lot easier than man protect with all that blitz. So we had that plan going in that we were going to work on some slide protection stuff to have to just just for a bunch of young guys to be able to pick it up easy. I would imagine a lot of those guys were accustomed to that in the prior system anyway because they probably did that. Right? Yeah, yeah, they did. And it was, uh, you know, you just you kind of get down a guy because you got to use your tight end in there also right. and, and your running backs and you're down some people. You, know, you can't get everybody out, but it's good mix-up. I thought it was a really good mix-up for our guys and it kind of gave those young guys up front a little bit of a crutch. Um, they could get, it wasn't as, as many one-on-one -on -one blocks. They had to blitz everybody to get you one-on-one. -on -one. Well, you know, you it, said it was putting my tackles yeah, one on one, yeah. and the inside guys got to slide left and right. So that's that's what kind of going in at coaching wise is what we're trying to do. You, know, you said earlier this week, you know, you had to find your guys before you can build continuity, but now you finally, it seems like you finally got your feet on the ground where you can start building something. Else. Yeah, I, I, I think I felt good. I had seven guys I played today, and, and I wasn't, you know, there was two other guys that I wasn't going to. I wasn't going to flinch at playing if I needed to. Right. You know, I had, I had Stilly in there as the backup center. Uh, never put him in, but I wasn't going to hesitate if, if I needed to be done. And, and I, you know, I just felt like I'd, hopefully we can pull together and continue to build on what we did today. No bad habits because none of those guys have bad habits. <laughs> You're right. You're right. No. You're right. Just, uh, you know, we just got to be smart from a coach's standpoint and not put them in situations to do things they can't do. Thanks. You come in thinking you were going to tempo them or just kind of catch them? Oh, yeah, we knew. Yeah. They, they, we knew they were going to be like, blitz-oriented defense, or? you know, playing three down front, they're blitz-oriented defense. And we felt like, hey, if we could tempo them, and they struggled to get lined up yeah. a lot. You know, that's, that was that was good. Once we saw that, and it was hot out there, and we, we started grinding on them a little bit. And that's that's what I challenged our guys with is like, hey, let's have a condition. I, I feel like that's what we did sometimes. Yeah, yeah. Was, was it a play or a series where you thought, geez, man, this is going to work. Like, we, we can do this. We don't have to scale back and, and play it close to the vest. Like, yeah, I felt good. When we got the ball outside early a couple times, I was like, okay. And then when we, we got down there and we ran that uh, we ran that night, we ran outside zone and, and scored. And I thought, okay, you know, we may be finding what we can do here as far as calling the formations and where we want to put the ball. So I, I felt really good after we, we scored that touchdown on that outside zone play. Hey, we're about, and that's what we came back to over and over throughout the night. Was and they had they had a tough time out of that formation stopping them. Did you have to see something out of 